Welcome to this edition of The Defender. Uh, this is the best that we have done in the last two years. Amalteo Ali raves about her accomplishments as the director of the Georgia Public Defender Council in a video posted on YouTube this past March. We have more funding than we've ever had in the history of the agency, and that's the last two years. An apparent attempt to put a positive spin on a state agency struggling to live up to its obligation to provide legal representation to people accused of crimes who could not afford a lawyer. Over the past five months, Atlanta News first investigations uncovered people in county jails across Georgia, legally innocent, waiting for trial, but without an attorney. A violation of the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution. Do you have a lawyer? Is anyone come to speak with you? No. No? So he's kind of like stuck. He doesn't have no representation at all, no help at all. Nobody's listening. It's been 10 years and nobody has listened. According to agency records we uncovered, the Defender Council has hired multiple public relation firms to change the narrative, using taxpayer money to do it. Tobin Inc. is one of them. According to its $4,500 contract, the company provided the agency with thought leadership, social media strategy, and on-call crisis communication. Internal emails show the Defender Council hired Tobin Inc. two weeks after Atlanta News First interviewed Director Ali in November, asking her to respond to judges' frustration over shortages and court-appointed attorneys. So these are people who don't know what's going on in-house. Even judges. Even judges. Three months later, the Defender Council hired another public relations company, Lucy Content. It's run by former local television journalists. Our job is, is to shine a light on all the good that people, businesses, nonprofits are doing. The taxpayer costs to hire Lucy $24,500. According to its contract, the media company will provide help with overall messaging, develop narrative opportunities, and social media support. Since employing Lucy, the agency increased posting on its Facebook page, including congratulating employees on awards, but also about International Jugglers Day, National Golfers Day, and even Caramel Popcorn Day. What sort of looking for? It's jargon. Andrew Fleischman is a former public defender who worked at the agency. We shared the public relations contracts and the YouTube video with him. I feel as though they're saying, oh, okay, uh, people think we're doing a bad job because we're getting bad press, instead of thinking, oh, we're getting bad press because we're doing a bad job. Director Ali did not respond to our request for an interview for this story, but an email staff wrote, we seek to engage and educate the public by showcasing the positive impact of our work, calling it a cost-effective tool to improve employee recruitment. My response is that it's unusual for a government agency to have to spend taxpayer dollars to persuade taxpayers that their money is being spent wisely. Let me tell you what the real deal is. In the Defender Council's 15-minute video, Director Ali spends most of the time talking about herself and her accomplishments since appointed by the governor in 2021. Here's the only time she recognizes issues facing her agency and people waiting for legal representation. Now, do we have challenges? Yes, we do. Um, we sometimes don't have enough employees. It seems to me like she believes she is doing a tremendous job. She just held herself to a very low standard. 